one of the things that the union did is that we were discussing individual per individual on what to do so that we are working with a listing of 25 persons. We had agreed to pursue a course in respect to three of them which may result in them being declared medically unfit in which case they would get invalidity benefits so that we have agreed to take that route in respect to those three and in respect to the remaining 22. If that doesn't work then those people will be made redundant and in respect to the remaining 22 then we would proceed with the redundancy and make certain compensatory payments in accordance with a schedule uh, and as agreed with the union for certain persons who are in certain categories that we have discussed. What we had agreed to, because the numbers were lessened, the contractor uh, had told us that he was able to, we, as our strategy we tried to get him to take all the persons. Those who he would not take or we could not retain, then those are the people that we had difficulty with. The reality is that persons who they don't take and we won't retain are, it's only three people. So that, of course, that softens the blow in relation to any kind of payment because you're not talking about ten people, you're not talking about eight people, you're only talking about three people. In respect to persons who are made the offer to go to alternative employment, there was a discussion in relation to well, what we do with those people if they say no. My view is that if there is an offer and you are getting the same base rate that the city council pays, then if you refuse that offer, it's on you.